Hello everybody. Welcome to another beautiful video. In today's video, we're going to go over a few currency pairs that I have on my watch list. See what potential trading opportunities we have for the rest of the week. I know it's a bit late. I was caught up in some personal issues. So with that being said, we're going to dive right into the pairs. And if you do find value in this video, consider liking this video, subscribe, and share with a few friends that you believe will also find value in it. So starting off, we're going to start off with JPYX. Since last week, after prices gave us this crazy pump on the CPI reaction of the US dollar pair, um, prices have been bullish ever since. And we can see yesterday prices reached this significant market structure. And right now what we're anticipating to see is how prices are going to react on this structure. As in, will prices... Um, will prices break and then continue pumping higher or will they bounce off and keep on going lower? Mind you, the bearish trend is very strong. So the possibility of prices selling is actually higher than prices breaking above. But due to this current bullish momentum, we're going to have to wait out and see how prices are going to react on this structure. So with the JPYX, obviously, um, you can see with car jpy prices have actually already broken that structure so with car jpy hmm, so it looks like with car jpy prices have already um broken some of the major structures as uh, this was the first structure that i was actually looking at prices already broke below that and the second structure was this ascending trend line where prices have also broken above it so we do have um, uh, the possibility of JPYX keep on pumping if EURJPY also aligns with this. Ah, now with EURJPY um, prices are on the structure and have not yet broken below this trend line. So it doesn't really confirm if EURJPY would have also given us um, structures like this where structure or the major structures have already been broken, then we would have concluded that JPYX would have kept on pumping higher. But right now, since J Euro JPY hasn't given us any major confirmation, that means we'll have to also just wait and see how prices play out on JPYX. So that's that with JPYX. We really don't have any um, current um, confirmations so we're just going to have to wait it out now let's go to our personal favorite dxy the us dollar currency pair so we can see prices have broken this major crazy structure now what are we going to be anticipating to see is a retest on this structure before we see a drop until prices hit these lows as the first target and then maybe this major trend line as the second target obviously we understand that if we do trade this as a pattern, where's that little thing? Okay, parallel channels. So we can see that prices from the highest peak to the base will be the same distance from the neckline to where prices are going to be pumping. So we'll see that prices has a possibility of dropping until it reaches 105, 101.60 around somewhere here if we do trade it as a pattern so what i'm anticipating to see is obviously just a retracement and then we're going to be trading out trading it based off market structure so that means once we trade here the first take profit will be here and then once we get more entries the second take profit will be somewhere here obviously mind you this is the daily so our trading opportunities will be taken from the lower time frames so if you want to if you want to if you don't want to get left out on these opportunities join our free telegram that's linked in the description where you'll be getting daily updates on lower time frame breakdowns but currently we can see the us dollar is actually dropping lower as it's losing value so we'll be seeing prices keep on dumping until they reach somewhere here as the first targets now how will this be impacting the other us dollar pairs we can see with um, Euro JPY prices, as I anticipated, already reached here and have broken below, and it's actually pushing lower. 
So right now we can actually just be anticipating to see prices give us some kind of a retracement and drop until hitting these lows as the first targets. And currently USD JPY is actually tradable because JPYX and the US dollar are going against each other. So this pair is actually tradable. So should prices retrace here, we'll be looking for trading opportunities. Euro USD prices have also broken above here. So obviously we'll be looking for those trades for prices to pump until we hit these highs as our first targets. So that means we'll be looking for that retracement as prices pump all the way up there. GBP USD, same thing applies. Prices have already broken this major trend line and resistance structure. So all we have to do is wait for prices to give us that retracement before we actually see a continuation. Now, where will the take profits be? Obviously, they'll be somewhere up here. So back on the daily. Right there. So should prices retrace, we'll be looking for prices to take off until they hit those highs. Um, but with this momentum, prices may easily hit the targets before it even retraces with GBPUSD. But nevertheless, that's the bias, that's the direction we are looking for taking for opportunities to take trading. Um, with gold, same thing applies. Obviously, we understand that gold is inversely correlated to the dollar. So prices, as they drop on the dollar, gold will keep on pumping higher and higher so obviously we'll be looking for prices to give us that kind of retracement before we look for that bullish pump with the gold commodity so with that being said guys that's all we have for today if you found value in this video consider giving us a like subscribe share with a few friends that you believe will find value and comment below what were your biggest takeaways and what you'd like us to add on the weekly breakdowns so with that being said guys let's have a killer week i'll see you on the winning side cheers